Alrighty, everybody, good evening and welcome back. And you can see what we got on the table tonight. We got a brisket. Not only do we got a brisket, we got a uh, USDA prime brisket. Uh, because we're going to do something that I've never done before with a brisket is we're going to inject it. Uh, and you might ask, like, what are you going to inject it with? You know, because I still am going to rub it down. So you might ask, what are you going to inject it with? What are you going to rub it down with? Well, so let's just pop over here real quick, shall we? And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this drawer. And, uh, oh my Lanta, will you look at that? Insert, insert cool music. I have a Cosmos Q uh, rub seasoning drawer. So uh, let's go ahead and pull some stuff out. Uh, what we're gonna inject this with, first off, is this uh, Cosmos Q reserve blend. Uh, we're gonna rub this down with some of the Cosmos Q SPG. We're gonna rub it down with some of the Cosmos Q Texas beef. And we're going to rub it down with some of the Cosmos Q cow cover. So without further ado, uh, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm going to go ahead and get this brisket all trimmed up. And uh, I will pick back up when we're doing the injection. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, so brisket is all trimmed up uh, real quick. You can just see the uh, injection I'm using tonight. Obviously, it's a Cosmos Q. Uh, the directions say use one third of the cup injection. That's this stuff. And then two cups of liquid. So what I did was did one third of the Cosmos Q. I did a cup of beef consomme and I did a cup of water and uh, here's what I got. And now let's go ahead and inject it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to inject this. We're going to make like a one inch by one inch uh, pattern on both sides. And uh, we're going to go in with the grain. So you can see, I don't know if you can, but I got my toothpick there. My toothpick is there for my reference of how I need to cut. So I want to cut against the grain but I want to inject with the grain. So I'm actually going to turn this around like this and I'm going to inject with the grain and uh, let's see how this goes. Never injected a brisket before. So uh, this was some advice from a, uh, a Facebook friend of mine named uh, Darren. Uh, he's also got a channel of uh, a YouTube channel is uh, Ash Kick and BBQ, but the guy's only got like two or three videos. So you guys go over and check out his channel, Ash Kick and BBQ, or barbecue or whatever it is. Um, really good stuff, but he needs more content. So go ahead and give him some crap. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish injecting this side, and then uh, I'm gonna inject the other side as well. And uh, I will probably pick back up when we are rubbing this thing down. So we will uh, see you then. Okay, so we are back. Uh, the injection is done. Now we're going to go ahead and rub this thing up. Uh, we're going to use three different layers of rubs, believe it or not. Uh, the first rub we're going to go on with is the Cosmos Q SPG. Uh, we're going to give this a very light to medium coat on both sides. Gonna pat that in. That's going to be about good. Uh, second coat of rub we're going to do is the Cosmos Q there we go. Texas style beef. Again, another light to medium coat. And that's going to be all good. And then we're going to go on one more coat of rub. We're going to go on a little heavier this time. We're going to use the Cosmos Q cow cover. And this one we're going to go on, like I said, we're going to go on heavy with this. So, and you probably noticed that I didn't use a binder tonight. And I didn't need to use a binder because we did the injection. So this brisket is plenty moist, plenty wet. Uh, the rub's going to stick to it really good. See about good there. I'm just going to go ahead and pat this in. And uh, that's going to be about good for the rub on this brisket. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do... Is, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this uncovered, you know, all night. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge, leave it uncovered, and uh, I will pick back up tomorrow morning when we're throwing it on the grill. So we will see you in the a.m. All right, everybody, good morning and uh, welcome back. First and foremost, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, especially to my dad, you know, Tom. You know, go check his YouTube page out at Tom Horseman. But that, for those of you who don't know, Tom Horseman is my father. I think. The secret's out by now. I think everybody on the YouTube community should know who my dad is. But uh, you can see we're cooking on the Pits and Spits Maverick 1250. No, this did not come with it. Uh, I do have like somewhat of a wood shop here in my garage. And um, yeah, I just want to 
sideshelf, but I didn't want to buy the one they had. So I was like, surely I can make something out of wood. So I did. I think it looks pretty good. But uh, cooking at 275 today. We're using the uh, Lumberjack Hickory blend pellets. I believe it's like it's like 60% oak, 40% hickory. Give you a quick peek at the brisket. Just put it on. There she be. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this thing down, and uh, I'll probably check back in in two, three hours or so. But uh, like I said, we're cooking at 275. So hopefully this uh, 10 to 12 pound brisket takes about eight hours at 275. So uh, we will see you guys probably. I don't know, two, three, four hours or something. So we're going back to bed. See you in a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are back. We're about two and a half hours into the cook. Give you a quick peek. Uh, I did just start to miss this down. This is my little uh, beef concoction spray here. Uh, it's got some beef consomme in it. It's got some uh, Worcestershire or some dummy sauce, and it's got some water. Uh, I don't really remember the parts I used, so it's just got all those ingredients in it. But I'm going to go ahead and close this thing back down. Internal temp right now is at about 100 and 33. Uh, this has probably got about at least another 30 degrees to go before I wrap it up, but uh, I will probably pick back up uh, when we're wrapping it, so we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back. Uh, brisket has been on for about five and a half hours, and uh, it's time to wrap it up. Uh, you might see I have it in a big pan. I'm actually not going to wrap it in foil today. Uh, another suggestion from a friend of mine, Darren, over at Ash, Ash Kickin' Barbecue, but uh, he suggested just to kind of put it in here and then uh, add your liquid to that. So the liquid I used is a one full bottle, or that I'm going to use is one full bottle of this uh, Cosmos Q brisket mop. Used a full can of beef consomme, and then I used a half a can of water, put it in the shaker bottle, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it right in. I'm going to cover this up with foil, throw it back on, and uh, I'm going to, once it's done, I'm going to pull it off, I'm going to let it rest, and then uh, I will pick back up then uh, when we're slicing into it. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back and it is time to eat. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go over these cook times. Uh, put the brisket on at six. It finished at two, that was eight hours. Uh, we did five and a half hours on smoke. And then um, it would be two and a half hours wrapped, or not wrapped, but in, you know, in the pan, you know, five and a half, two and a half. Um, math is hard, but that makes eight. And then uh, I actually let this thing rest for about four hours. I put the oven on, keep warm, and just, you know, let it rest. But uh, let's go ahead and take some slices out of this and see what we got. Smells fantastic, I will say that. Alright, let's go ahead and take a peek at one of these slices. This would be the slice. There's our brisket. Uh, looking really, really, really juicy. I'm trying to get a close-up here. There she be. Really juicy, uh, really tender. Yeah, it kind of just falls apart. A little overdone, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. That injection is really, really, really good. Um, definitely going to be using that injection again. So, uh, yeah, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and finish slicing this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and eat. You guys and girls have a good night, and uh, we will see you next time.